This is Roy Beiswinger from Powered Sport Flying Magazine here at the Midwest LSA Expo. Expo. Here talking to an aviation celebrity, actually, at least here in Illinois, <laughs> uh, Mr. Dan Grunlow. Dan Grunlow's been around it for years, uh, a, a judge down at Sun and Fun, uh, runs forums up at Oshkosh as part of the EAA Ultralight Advisory Council has spoken, has competed. He's a, uh, are you a, a, a Calibri winner? I'm a Calibri, I'm a two-time national champion in yes. microlight competition. He is, I mean, he, he doesn't just fly them, he competes in them. He's I, I, actually one of the places I got to, to visit with Dan a lot was in France when he was uh, flying the, the U.S. flag over there. So, oui. yes, <laughs> and, 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 and always is, is a great, oh, and I, I can't uh, miss the fact that you're actually a writer too. You, you, you write I, for the EAA. I, I've been around aviation long enough that I can, I can speak with some experience. You, so today you're even more of an authority on airplanes. You've uh, somehow managed to get yourself a flight in a B-Light Chipper, a brand new airplane. How, how did you come to do that? Well, I'd, I'd seen the airplane a couple times and I talked to uh, James and uh, he said, someday you've got to fly it. And uh, here at the Midwest LSA Expo, I had a chance. And he said, let's go. And I jumped right in. I, I knew some background about the airplane and I saw it at Oshkosh. And so I finally got a chance to get in it. And uh, I, I'm still a little bit uh, uh, taken by the performance. Uh, stag oh, yeah? Staggering slow flight, amazing slow flight. Anyway, uh, it's a wide cockpit. It's easy to get into. Right. He's got a great... Uh, harness, a great shoulder spy point harness that he uses. Um, it's very short takeoff. It has flaps and flapper ons. Okay. And with both of them in, uh, I was seeing 22 mile per hour on the maximum climb out. We did a VX climb out, uh, then transitioned to cruise flight. We flew around at 80 miles per hour. Nice. Um, I got to fly a few turns. I liked the controls and that was great. But um, I'm still s somewhat breathless about the slow flight because with the flaps down and the flapperons down, it really doesn't want to go down. Wow. Um, everything stalls. Any plane can stall in the right situation, but just trying to make it stall. And he tried to make it stall. And we descended without it dropping the nose, with him maintaining lateral control and, and, and seeing it incredibly slow forward airspeed, uh, I was still taken by that. So I asked him, well, does it stall normally with everything up? Ah, uh, okay. So he raises up the flaps and he raises up the flap rounds and uh, tries to stall it the mm -hmm. same way. And there's really no conventional break. Wow. Uh, everybody c claims, yeah, my plane, there's really no conventional break. The plane is light. Um, I totally can't explain it yet. Right. Uh, one of the cool things about it is that... Um, well, it's a light construction. Is that when he puts the flaps down and the flap rounds down, they equalize each other. Okay. So instead of the nose going up or the nose going down, it stays the same. Oh, interesting. So uh, that turned out to be uh, uh, fortunate that it came out that way. Um, we also uh, demonstrated... Um, straight and level cruise, how fast can it go? So we were mm -hmm. over 100, uh, 99 indicated, right. hot day, yeah. 2,000 feet, over 100 true, probably, that's what he says. Um, the slow flight is still what I'm, I'm well, breathless you know, and about. You're, and you're a slow flight guy. I'm a slow flight guy, but we were just parachuting with full control. Right. And I know James has a number of airplanes he's designed, but Boy, this one, it really gets up and goes. I think this is the 80 horsepower Rotax. Right. And it gets more out of 80 horsepower than I have seen. I was going to say. Uh, 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 James says it's got the best performance of anything here in the field in terms of short field. Okay. And I, you know, I think he backs up his claims, I think. All right. So I was fun. I was impressed. And I'm still uh, a little bit, uh, my jaw was like, that. So were you shanghai were, were you just walking no, along? No, no. You, you uh, I talked on? to him before about it, and he had told me at Oshkosh, you got to get a ride in at some time. And, you know, I don't want to take a ride away from, you know, a newcomer. Sure. 
Or a potential customer. Right. Well, I'm kind of a potential customer. Right, right. Because I understand it can be bought in parts as a kit, and you can... Uh, oh. You don't have to spend all your money all at once. Right. You can work up to it. So, but it's... So it was a thrill. It was a thrill, especially the slow flight, um, the performance that comes out of 80 horsepower. And uh, I'm also impressed by the... By, I, I came here looking for what's low cost, what's available. Right. If somebody can't spend a lot of money, and and the ability to build this uh, it, from a kit, from a low-cost kit that you can, you don't have to spend all your money all at once. You can work on it. Um, it 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 strikes me as the the most performance for the least money. Wow, that's um, that's a that's a lot think, coming I, out I of Mr. Brenlow. I think it Brenlo. has to say that. I don't <laughs> know what else, uh, especially in a side-by-side -side configuration. Right. Right. But, uh, well, we got James here. Let's. Uh, yeah, I'm just the passenger with his the jaw on the floor going, wow. <laughs> so let's let's talk to James here. So James Weeby, he's the designer, he's the builder, he's the guy who was do, doing a lot of flying at Oshkosh. I yeah. saw you do a lot there. You must love it in the sky. Yeah, I do. I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. I've flown it all over since then till now. Right. Yeah. I see bugs, so I know you're. Yeah. I know you're not lying. I to haven't me. had a chance to clean. <laughs> yes, that's true. At construction, uh, uh, most of the structural elements are made from honeycomb aluminum. Okay. Uh, we give uh, free samples to people who are interested. Amazing stuff. Right. Uh, it's very light, very strong. Our finished weight here came in at 625, and it's heavy. Wow. So it makes us the lightest plane on the field, even so. Right. Uh, it is light. So we save a tremendous amount of weight due to our construction technique. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, you know the rest of them, I mean, it's all conventional construction. Right. And everything uh, butts together, aluminum angle, lots of pop rivets. Right. Uh, gussets are pre-drilled uh, to make it easy to line stuff up. But uh, the cabin goes together like a great big uh, puzzle. The nice. pieces lock together. Nice. So it's easy to put together. Um, the uh, rear fuselage is also honeycomb with conventional skin, a monocoque uh, skin. Okay. The wings actually look quite conventional. They've got uh, honeycomb ribs okay. uh, along with uh, standard tubular aluminum spars. Right. So all straightforward construction techniques uh, through it. So you started out with a tail dragger, okay? And you seem to do that. You, you like the tail dragger. Oh, Roy, I love tail draggers. Okay. Yeah. And so is that is that where it ends? Is no. That, okay. Because no. it never happens either. <laughs> We've uh, surveyed our customers and accepted uh, orders from people who wanted in the tricycle configuration. Okay. So after this show, the uh, next big project is to uh, get the uh, tricycle configuration set up and operating. Oh, Anticipate wow. no problems doing that. We're going to show it in a couple of months. There's absolutely no differences to the construction of the cabin or the fuselage as a result of that. The implication there is that if you want to take it as a tricycle and convert it over to a tail dragger someday, bolt on, bolt off for the gear. No big really? deal. Really? So yeah. this is user able yes, to do this too. That's a correct. Able to do it. Yeah, yeah. Nose gear bolts on on the uh, firewall and engine uh -huh. mount, and the uh, A frames for the uh, tricycle gear bolt on uh, where we currently have the lift strut supports. Will you see a price difference between the There's two? There's a, of course, because yeah. you know we have to buy another wheel sure. and uh, the mechanism for the front. Okay. I don't know it off the top of my head. No, a few no. Few hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not bad at all. Um, now, uh, one of the things becoming real popular build centers. Yeah, it helps sure. move things along. Is that something you're contemplating or doing? Uh, we're going to do build centers. Okay. Absolutely. And uh, what I want to do is uh, set up uh, classes as well where people can come in and over the course of a weekend we'll tackle, for instance, the uh, putting together tail feathers. Okay. And they can walk out of there with the uh, tail feathers complete in a weekend. Okay. You know, and offer people the ability to interact directly with the design and the build techniques so that they don't have to be intimidated. That'd That's going nice. to start happening early next year. Well, very good. Uh, you are a, y you have you have presence like, you're like Mr. Digital. You're, you're, you're present <laughs> on uh, websites. I get a lot of your push emails and Facebook. Start let, let me know how, or let everybody know how people sure. get hold of you. Uh, first place is always Be Light Aircraft, B E L I T E, aircraft.com. But we just added a big website solely dedicated to this airplane. It's okay. easy, chipper.aero. Oh, -E -R -O. nice. Okay, and it good. is self contained. It has uh, all the material that's not on the big website. But it's right. a big website in its own. You can see videos. You can see photos of it flying. You can get all the specs. You can get what's n what's included, what's not. It's all there. James Weeby, thanks so much for being part of it. Thanks for being here at the show, and uh, look forward to seeing you at the next show. Thank you, Roy. Okay.
This is Roy Beiswanger with Powered Sport Flying Magazine, and you can learn more about what I do at psfmagazine.com.